got the drip, you need to come and see She switching up her hair, her makeup stay on fleek Got that crooked on her hips, she never miss a beat She showing off her style with a new video this week Naomi Amari, Naomi Amari, Naomi Amari, Naomi Amari Naomi got the drip, you need to come and see She showing off her style with a new video this week What's up y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me and Emery and I'm back with another video. So today I'm bringing you guys a cute, basic crochet mesh top that anybody can do, advanced or beginner. So make sure you stick around to see that. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're commenting, you're subscribed to my channel. So if many of you guys haven't noticed, I started a YouTube family channel. So if you would like to see more videos of me like not really crochet or hair related make sure you go check out that channel i actually just posted a funny video yesterday that we did and actually i'm gonna just add a snippet so y'all can see <laughs> wait what you want to do something spontaneous like you gonna do it in the back seat right now mm -hmm. If you guys would like to see more content like that make sure you're subscribed we also will be posting a new video tomorrow so make sure you're on the lookout for that um like comment and subscribe don't forget to watch this whole video do what y'all do best keep on supporting your girl i love y'all so to start off my work i'm going to be using yarn art and this is size four yarn i want actually no i lied it's size two yarn <laughs> but um yeah, so we're going to be making this cute, simple top, something really easy that beginners can do. You can use any size yarn. So I'm going to start off my work by making a slip knot. And for a B cup, I'm going to be chaining 14 to begin my work. Go ahead and check my description box. I'll have the beginning chains that you should start with for each size. Once you have your 14, you're going to chain an additional two, and then you're going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. This is just basically going to be worked like a normal bra cup. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be an in-depth tutorial because I have a few videos on how I do bra cups. So make sure you check that out. I'll have it linked below. Once you reach the end, you're going to insert two half double crochets, chain one, and then insert two more half double crochets. This is just going to give your bra its cone-like shape. Then you're just going to work a half double crochet into each stitch till you reach the end. As you can see, I have my first row completed. You're just going to chain up two and repeat by working a half double crochet in each space. And when you reach the top, insert two half double crochets, chain one, and then insert two more half double crochets. That's really all you're going to do. So I repeated this process for a total of nine rows. Also keep in mind, depending on what size hook and yarn you use, it'd be different from the amount of rows that I'm doing. So just make sure that you're following still, you know, your normal cup size and just leave off one row to be worked as a mesh stitch.
So after I finish my nine rows, I'm gonna chain up three, flip my work, and I'm gonna skip the first two spaces and insert a half double crochet into the third space. Now we're just gonna be working the mesh stitch. So now after you insert your half double crochet, you're gonna chain one, skip a space, and then go into the following space. And this is gonna give a mesh look. All right, so at the top, you're gonna insert two half double crochets, chain one, and insert two more half double crochets. And you're just gonna repeat all the way down till you reach the bottom. So now we're gonna work the bottom. You're gonna chain one and insert a single crochet in each stitch across the bottom. So now once you've completed one side, you're going to continue to single crochet along to the other side, connecting the top together. When you reach the end, you're gonna chain two, and now you're gonna work the mesh stitch in between the holes. So the holes are gonna be the spots that you are gonna be inserting half double crochet into. So insert half double crochet into the first space, chain one, and you're just gonna repeat this. And I should show it close up so y'all can see.
So you're going to continue to work this across the top and then onto the other side. Also, if you wanted to do your straps a part of the border, you can do that. I normally don't, no specific reason, I just do it differently sometimes. So now you're just going to slip stitch to the beginning and we're just going to be working the bottom portion of the bra. So as you can see, this is what we have so far. Begin the bottom, you're going to chain up three and work a double crochet in each stitch along the bottom.
This is also optional. You can work way more rows, but I worked a total of three rows for myself. Um, if you want more coverage, obviously you would just work more rows. Once you have your three rows done, you're gonna chain up four, flip your work. You're gonna skip the first two spaces and then to the third space, you're gonna insert a double crochet. This is gonna be working the message along the bottom of the top. Gonna chain one and insert a double crochet into the following space after you skip the uh, next space and you're just going to repeat this and work this for however many rows you choose but for myself I worked two So this is what your top should look like. Now to work the side mesh stitch, we're gonna chain five and you're just gonna insert a double crochet into one of the spaces, chain three, skip another space and insert a, another double crochet and chain three more and insert another double crochet into another space. So this basically is gonna give you the mesh um, looking for the side so you can go back and hook in the straps. Don't forget to also repeat this process on the other side. Also make sure you go back and sew in all of your loose ends. So you're also just gonna make a really long chain for the shoulder straps and for the back strap. The back strap should be a little bit longer than the shoulder strap. And this is just me showing how I tie in my straps. 
thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed it make sure you give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe be sure to also check out my family channel i'll have it linked down below in the description peace thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed it make sure you like comment and subscribe if you're new to my channel welcome welcome if you're returning welcome back and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video i post peace